Hello friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa. Today I have got a fabulous video in store for you because we are making oatmeal, but we're not just making your standard traditional oatmeal because I felt like that was gonna be kind of a boring video. We are gonna be making oatmeal in six different flavor options. So I'm excited to be partnering with my friends at Bob's Red Mill to bring you today's video. They feel like the perfect partner for this video because they literally have almost every single variety of oat that you could ever imagine. They have everything from quick instant oats, they have have traditional rolled oats, they have extra thick rolled oats, they have steel cut oats, you name it, they have it. For today's video, I'm actually gonna be showing you how to make steel cut oats in the Instant Pot, but I do just wanna preface that you can use any method for cooking oatmeal and any type of oats for this recipe. So just make a traditional batch of oatmeal, any type of variety that you like, make it plain, and then you can use these flavor options to spice it up and make it a little bit more exciting. So make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video because I'll share a little bit more about Bob's Red Mill as well as where you can find their products. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so I'm gonna first show you how to cook the steel cut oats. So we're gonna use Bob's Red Mill gluten-free steel cut oats. Make sure that you're using the regular ones, not the quick cooking ones. And we're gonna add two full cups into our Instant Pot. We're gonna follow that up with some water. And my trick is to actually also add in some almond milk. It makes it super creamy. And then we're gonna add in a pinch of salt, which really helps bring out the flavor and stir it all together. Pop your lid on your Instant Pot. Make sure that your vent is closed. And then you're gonna turn your pressure on high. Set it to four minutes. I like to turn the keep warm setting off, but that's optional. Let your Instant Pot turn on and then it will build pressure and the timer will count down. Once it's done counting, let it sit for about 10 minutes to naturally release the pressure. Then you can release the pressure the rest of the way. Once it's released, you can remove your lid and stir everything together and your Instant Pot oats should be nice and creamy. They have such an awesome texture and seriously, a cooking time of four minutes, you can't beat that. All right, so now we're gonna move on to our different flavors. The first flavor that we're gonna make is apple cinnamon. We're gonna add about a cup of cooked steel cut oats into a bowl, add in about half of a chopped apple as well as some cinnamon, and then just give it a quick stir until everything is combined. Once it's combined, you can move on to your toppings, which is just the rest of the chopped apple, as well as some chopped almonds and a nice pinch of cinnamon and a drizzle of maple syrup to finish it off. And then you can just dig in. This is so awesome in the winter and fall. It's really cozy and warming. And you could also actually saute the apples if you wanted. That would be delicious as well. Our second recipe is lemon blueberry. Again, we're gonna add about a cup of cooked steel cut oats into our bowl. To that, we're gonna add some lemon juice, some frozen blueberries, and some maple syrup, and just stir that together until it is all evenly combined. And your oats should kind of turn like a purpley color. It's really pretty. And then for topping on this one, we're gonna add on some more blueberries. We're gonna add some lemon zest, which really helps brighten up that flavor and gives it a nice extra zing. Some chopped almonds for a little bit of crunch and texture. And then I like to add some almond milk onto this one just because it makes it like super creamy and it's really delicious. This one, of course, is really bright. It's flavorful, it's full of berries, and I think it's perfect in the springtime and summer. Our third flavor is a classic, it's peanut butter and banana, and you're gonna add about a cup of steel cut oats into your bowl. From there, you're gonna add half of a mashed banana into the bowl, as well as a tablespoon of peanut butter, and then you'll stir this all together until everything is smooth and creamy and combined. Once it's all combined, for our toppings, we're gonna keep it super simple. It's just the rest of the banana, so you're gonna end up using a whole banana in this recipe. I like to slice it up. You could also chop it, you could just do whatever. And then we'll also finish it off with a drizzle of peanut butter because the more peanut butter, the better in my opinion. And I like to finish it off with something a little bit crunchy. It's really good with chopped peanuts, um, but I really like to use hemp seeds and also chia seeds. So I did a blend of chopped peanuts and chia seeds for this one and then you can just dig right in. This one is so good. I will say that the bananas don't last quite as long as some of the other recipes, so if you're gonna meal prep all six of these, I would recommend that you eat this one first. Our fourth recipe is chocolate coconut. You guys know I had to add something chocolate in here because I love chocolate for breakfast. Again, it's gonna use about a cup of cooked steel cut oats as well as some maple syrup, a little bit of coconut milk, 
some raw cacao and then we're going to stir that together until your oats get nice and chocolatey and the coconut milk is going to help to kind of loosen up the oats especially if you're making this with oats that have already been cooked and they're kind of cold and then once that's all combined we're just going to top that with some toasted coconut chips as well as some chocolate chips and then again I like to do another drizzle of coconut milk here it just adds a really nice creaminess to it and it kind of helps to balance out some of the sweetness. This one kind of reminds me of Samoa's, like you know the Girl Scout cookies. It's got that really nice toasted coconut flavor combined with the chocolate and it's a little bit on the decadent side, but I love it. Our fifth recipe is throwing it back to childhood and it's PB&J. Again, we're gonna add one cup of cooked steel cut oats into our bowl. We're gonna top that with about a tablespoon of peanut butter. And I'm using some homemade peanut butter here. If you're interested in getting that recipe, I'll link it down for you below. But just stir it all together into the oats and you're basically just gonna have a peanut butter base. And then the topping for this one is going to be a generous dollop of chia seed jam. You could use whatever kind of jam you like, but I like to use chia seed jam because it's adding a nice form of protein, some extra healthy fats, and it's really easy to make at home. And then to finish it off, some maple syrup, a little bit of coconut flakes, and some chopped peanuts for crunch. And again, this one is just like berry, it's got the peanut butter, it's got protein, it's got healthy fats, and the flavor combo, you just, you can't beat peanut butter and jelly. It's just one of those combos that just makes you happy. And then last but not least, we are making a maple sea salt variety. So again, we're gonna use one cup of cooked steel cut oats. And at this point, you probably will have used all of your oats. So the two cups makes about six full portions. We're also gonna add a tablespoon of cashew butter, which helps to make it really creamy, as well as some vanilla bean powder, or you could use vanilla extract, and a touch of maple syrup. And you're gonna stir that together until it is smooth and creamy. The cashew butter really helps give this some creaminess and kind of like a rich caramelly flavor along with the maple syrup. Mm, it's so good. And then for topping this one, we're keeping it super simple, just some chopped up pecans, some additional maple syrup, a splash of almond milk, and also a pinch of flaked sea salt. And the sea salt combined with the maple is banging you guys it really brings out the sweetness it also brings out the caramelly flavors and it kind of tastes like a pecan pie slash dessert this is definitely my favorite variety and i think it's just so good you guys are gonna love it even if you aren't a sweet salty combo person it's really good, you gotta try it. And that pretty much does it for all six of our flavors. And what's great about steel cut oats is that they are meal prep friendly, so you can make all of these on a Sunday and they will last you all week long. I just recommend that you eat the ones that have fruit first because that will tend to get a little bit soggy as the week goes on. But I hope you guys try them and I know you're gonna really, really like them. And there you have it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed today's oatmeal inspired video. I can't wait to hear what flavors you make. My personal favorite is the maple sea salt. I also love the peanut butter and jelly and the chocolate coconut. You really can't go wrong with any of them. They're all delicious. So make sure to come back to this video and let me know which one you end up trying. You can just leave a comment down below. I also wanna thank Bob's Red Mill for joining us in today's video. Like I said, you can find their products pretty much everywhere. So they're sold nationwide in the US. They're also sold globally. They're also sold online on their website as well as on Amazon. And like I said before, they also have an entire range of certified gluten-free oats. So it's great for people with celiac disease or severe gluten intolerance because you can pretty much get any variety of oat that you'd like certified gluten-free. So make sure to check the description box because I've linked products, I've linked their website, and I've also linked today's blog post which has the full tutorial for this video including how to cook steel cut oats in the Instant Pot as well as the six flavor varieties. So that is all down in the description box below. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for being here. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up before you go. Hit that red subscribe button that is right below this video so you don't miss another one. I'm here twice a week, every Tuesdays and Fridays with brand new videos. So if you also hit that bell notification, that will turn on your notifications and you won't miss any of our new content. Otherwise, have a fabulous rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.